but there's a new brew appearing in high-end coffee shops and it's claiming superfood status. It's supposed to reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. It costs a packet and it's very green. It's called matcha and it comes from Japan. We are definitely in the land of the rising sun. Matcha has been prepared and drunk in Japan since the 12th century. And last year, they exported 140 tons of the stuff. Japan has consistently lower rates of heart disease compared to the UK. Studies point to their low-fat diet, but could matcha also be the key to Japanese heart health? Matcha isn't just a tea they drink in Japan, it's a flavor they love and they use it in just about anything. You only have to go into a Japanese supermarket to fully appreciate how much they're into matcha, okay? Matcha chocolates, premium matcha candy, matcha crisps. But it's tea I'm after, and to find that, I'm leaving Tokyo behind and heading south to Japan's tea-growing region, Shizuoka where they grow nearly half of Japan's green tea. Here, they take matcha drinking very seriously. Konnichiwa. I'm here to take part in a matcha tea ceremony, which has been practiced in Japan in this form since the 16th century. The tea used is the very highest quality, but it's not leaf tea like I was expecting. Can I see the matcha? Oh. It's a powder. Hi, so this. And then you mix it up with water. It's not an infusion. The froth, the foam, makes it kind of taste very gentle. Matcha is highly revered here, but to see how it's produced, I'm going to a tea plantation high up in the Shizuoka Mountains. Wow, we are definitely in tea country. Japan produces nearly 100,000 tons of tea a year, but only 1% is matcha. So what is so special about this powder? Oh, konnichiwa! To find out, I'm meeting Miwa, a local plantation owner. So this is your tea? Yes, this field is matcha. It's specially um, cultivating. It's that is for shading. Yes. Oh, so you have to shade the tea plants? Yes. Why is that? If we cultivating, so under the shade, uh, leaf is so more bright and so white. Beautiful green and soft. Oh. So, yes. So what about all other teas, like green tea and then builder's tea, the tea that I might drink back home in England? Mm. What plant makes those teas? Black tea, matcha tea and green tea is the same family as Nessus tree. It is actually the same plant. Yes. And the difference is the shading. Yes. Really? That's all it is? Yes. I'm shocked my usual cuppa comes from the same plant as matcha, but the production process is very different. The thing that makes matcha so pricey is the steaming and drying that happens before it's ground into a fine green powder. This whole room only produces 20 grams an hour, explaining matcha's price tag, up to 83 pounds for 100 grams. But Miwa thinks it's worth it. We can keep the young age. The matcha keeps you young? Yes. Miwa, do you mind if I ask you how old you are? 47. <laughs> 47 years old. Matcha once a week? Yes. Maybe I should just be smearing this matcha all over my face. Who knows? <laughs> that is actually really good. Yeah. But to find out if matcha is good for the heart, I'm heading to Shizuoka University's Tea Science Center. I'm here to meet a professor who is hopefully going to help me get to the bottom of whether or not matcha really is a superfood. Okay. Professor Nakamura has spent nearly 40 years studying tea, 
He's a world leading expert on the health benefits of green tea and matcha. Is matcha scientifically good for my health? When free radicals flow through our blood, they can damage the artery wall. Free flowing blood platelets can stick to the rough artery wall, forming blood clots. When the clots break free, they can travel to the heart and brain, causing heart attacks and strokes. Matcha contains an antioxidant called EGCG, which can mop up the free radicals, keeping our arteries smooth and healthy. Professor Nakamura has a test to prove just how effective EGCG is. You've got an active free radical in yeah. here. OK, what do we do next? Oh, look at that, it's completely changed colour. 